Hey guys, welcome back to my podcast, Naomi Takes America. Guess what? I'm back in New York. And I'm so excited to keep talking to my friends and learning about American life. Watch me grow like a Tamagotchi. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Derek here and Desmond. Derek and yes. Desmond. 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 Hi, you guys twins, right? Yes, yes. yes. Wow, すごい似てる And where do you live? Well, Derek, I live in Washington, D.C. Okay. And Desmond lives in Nagoya. Nagoya? I live in Nagoya. What? Wow, okay. <laughs> Washington, D.C. and Nagoya. That's one living in Nagoya. Yes, yes. Oh, why do you live Nagoya? Uh, I used to live in uh, I used to live in Brooklyn. We're from Brooklyn, New York. Uh-huh. And um, yeah, I started with meeting a few Japanese people in New York. And uh-huh. then actually I used to do property management. And one of my tenants was uh, actually from, from Aichi. Uh-huh. And... Um, Found myself、uh, interested in coming out to Japan. Wow, okay. And Derek is、uh, living in DC, right? Yes.、Yeah. I live in Washington, but the way I came to Japan was different. I,、uh, after he was there for a year and a half,、uh-huh. he said,、uh, one day, when are you going to come visit before I move back?、Uh-huh. So we went onto a site called eBay and it was an auction. Where、oh. you, someone had two round trip tickets to anywhere in Asia,、mm-hmm. and I won those tickets.、Mm. And I brought my girlfriend to visit Japan. Oh,、uh, that after that 12 day visit, then we decided to move there. Oh, so nice. then, the, but when I moved to Japan, uh-huh. uh huh, two times people thought I was my brother, <laughs> so I decided to move three and a half hours away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to a city,、uh, to a city called Wakayama.、Uh-huh. Wakayama? Okay. Yeah,、so、I decided to move to Wakayama because it was a peaceful、uh, people. Yeah, it was, was so kind. Yeah, Wakayama、yes. is so interesting. <laughs> yeah, you guys twins. Are you similar personality? I, I would say we're similar, but.、Uh, He, because he's two minutes older, he thinks he's the older brother. Oh. <laughs> so it allows him to feel uh-huh. like uh, he has a younger brother <laughs> until we finally had a younger brother. <laughs> But、um, when, we moved to J- when I moved to Japan,、uh-huh. I understand、yeah. the second one is the oldest. Oh. So, so I became the older brother when I lived in Japan. <laughs> What do you think this one? <laughs> Um, that was the problem. And,、um, <laughs> when you are the older brother, it's a fact, right? You can't really change、uh-huh. if you're a younger brother. Do you get along? Sure. <laughs> Everything is a power struggle. It's a power struggle through life, but yeah, but through most of the part,、um, yeah, we got along. And then,、um, yeah, it was until about the end of high school.、Oh. And I think, yeah, it was the end of high school where the first real. Problem, and that、mm-hmm. was with a girl.、Uh-huh. Yeah, so that's weird. Normally, <laughs> people don't like twins, don't like the same girls. Oh, really? That's, that's this is weird, I, but I have a different story about that. <laughs>、um, this was a girl that I、yeah. worked with for a whole school year,、uh-huh. and then at the end of the school year, there's a big dance called the prom.、Uh-huh. And she went to a different school and she invited me to her prom, but she wanted me to pay for her. Everything、uh-huh. and I had my own school prom, so I rejected her. And then my brother started to date her. She asked my brother, <laughs> and that was the beginning of uh, a, a, you know, a big fight, a big fight, <laughs> a big physical fight. Yes, because I knew that she was trying to be in the middle of twins,、uh-huh. and he was in love with someone who was trying to do that. <laughs> who w i n I, I, just went to, yeah, yeah, I just went to I just went to the prom. It was no big deal.、Yeah. 
until he dated her for the rest of the summer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny story. Uh, why you guys come my podcast? Uh, yes. One, because you're funny. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I, I, I actually wrote um, different comedians in different stages of their careers. Oh. I wrote Dave Chappelle when he moved to yeah. Africa. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. I wrote uh, Kevin Hart mm-hmm. when he did a movie, What's Now, What's Up Now? Or, uh, and so I, I write the comedians because I myself told that story about uh-huh. the fight uh-huh. on the DC comedy improv stage. So I, I, I love comedy. And um, my wife and I laugh with you. So <laughs> yeah, it was just like, uh, why not try to write? Wow. You know, why not try to write you? And then when I saw this message uh-huh. the other day, I was like, wow, look at that. <laughs> A comedian finally wrote back. <laughs> oh, when did you see me? When did I first see you? Yeah, first. Well, it, it goes to uh, when it was the Beyonce. You were doing Beyonce. Yes. A uh, y- number of years ago. Uh, yeah. That's where, I, that's where I believe many people maybe mm-hmm. heard about you or where the popularity popped. And yeah. um, But it was about last year that I listened to the podcast, like oh. five episodes in a row. Yeah. Uh, with my wife on a road trip. Uh-huh. And that's where I was like, okay, okay, okay. I like this. Oh, so, I'm we... so happy. Wow. When I came to Nagoya after two years of living in Japan, uh-huh. um, we decided to do a film project about yeah. being foreigners in Japan. Uh-huh. Uh, and so when the reason I wrote you was because you have Take On America. Yeah. So that that is the similar, like, okay, you know, yeah. make, make your life story yeah. while it's happening. Yeah. Oh, thank you. There's one that, did you know me? I see you on TV and saw different things, some uh-huh. commercials and different things. I knew you by name, uh-huh. of uh-huh. course. Oh, thank you. But yeah. the podcast is so, so sometimes fun, sometimes dirty. What do you think, the dirty talk? I heard one dirty one. <laughs> <laughs> well, well uh, for, for Derek speaking, uh-huh. um, as I was listening, I said, "This is this is something I want to get on because, uh-huh. you know, I have I I could I I'm basically a very straightforward person, uh-huh. so you tell it like it is, yeah, and that's what I do. So I don't think bad words are a bad thing <laughs> if you say it in the right way or you yeah, know, topics are not to not be touched. Yeah, but my English is so like baby, you know, yeah, not smooth, but yeah, I'm more." learn English and American culture and maybe I get number one comedian in U.S. What do you think? Uh, what kind of good comedian in U.S.? Oh, man. I got a favorite. Patrice O'Neill. Do you know? I don't know. Patrice, Patrice O'Neill. Uh, could be controversy. He did pass away. He, he passed away um, maybe about 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, but when you hear him, he may be I mean, he go to the top. He'll be one of your favorites. Yeah, Patrice O'Neill from Massachusetts. Mm. He was a very straightforward talker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, you got to watch his stand-up. Yeah, maybe I should watch yeah. in his comedy. Yeah. The Elephant yeah. in the Room is his famous one. Oh, Elephant yeah. in the Room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, The Elephant He's in got- the Room. Oh, he's controversial, but he's actually very, he's very deep. He's very funny. American people loves what kind of comedy style? I would say that the sketch comedy is the one that stays longer in people's minds. Yeah. Because when Dave Chappelle, for example, Mm -hmm. or Eddie Murphy Mm -hmm. or Richard Pryor, Mm -hmm. when they had their comedy skits, those are the ones that are repeated. Mm-hmm. People remember, like, it just sticks. Mm-hmm. But Dave Chappelle uh, would have, you know, something like uh, catchphrases. Uh-huh. So once it becomes a catchphrase pop culture, oh, yeah, it sticks, yeah. sticks for 20 oh. years, 30 years longer. I see. Catchphrase. Oh, yes. good catchphrase important. Oh, for I example, see. For example, um, 
uh, Dave Chappelle on mm. his show, it was like, I'm rich, bitch. That was something that stuck. But oh, I see. another is Kevin Hart. It says, all right, all right, all right. That was his father. Yeah. Imitating his father. So like those type of things. Like, oh. People do the catchphrases for years and years to come. I see. There's one. Yes, yes. Yeah, very American comedy style and Japanese comedy style is so different, right? Mm. Yes, I like American comedy style. And I actually kept up with the mm -hmm. things that I liked in American culture. And I always try to make sure I maintain my American uh, yeah. culture. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, nice. I live in New York maybe two years. You're always on TV, though. <laughs> yes. Right. And <laughs> I don't know how you do that. Yeah. yeah. That'd be nice. My, my dream is comedy movie or Saturday Night Live. But my English mm. is so baby. And everybody say, yeah, you should have New York boyfriend. Yeah, but where? How do you do that? <laughs> yeah, makes boyfriend in America. Mm. Please tell me. I let I let him start. I let Derek uh, talk. Okay, first. let me start. Okay, <laughs> I would definitely say, from my experience in Japan, uh -huh. that when you do something, people follow. Oh, people follow. So, like example, you're doing Take on America. Uh huh. It will come to you. They will come to you. Just be yourself and do what you're doing and he will come to you oh really oh yes. nice yeah. nice comment <laughs> good word oh i see that found my wife uh -huh. <laughs> because when i went to japan mm -hmm. i signed up for to be a halloween teacher for a special event uh -huh. and that's where my wife saw me on the flyer Eh? But but she didn't know me until later. Uh -huh. But she remembered I was the guy that was running to the train station one day. Yeah. At full speed. Uh -huh. And she said, that's the guy again. <laughs> so I was just being me uh -huh. until someone at a uh, Saranara party for a teacher uh -huh. uh, invited her. Uh -huh. And then I met her and she already saw me twice. Eh? And I was like, okay. So... I was just doing me. Oh, nice. There's one. Well, yeah. Yeah, I would say, do you do you walk around alone sometimes? I don't know. If, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, then that's probably how. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> People talk on the street, you know? I think uh yeah, that's how I got to Japan. Yeah. <laughs> just walking around in New York mm -hmm. alone? Is that what well, you're saying? Well, in general, you know, um, I was in New York from 21 to 26, but uh, I had a couple of girlfriends that actually went to the same school. I went to Fashion Institute of Technology, but I met them in Brooklyn and mm -hmm. I didn't know. Them. And then we ended up going to the same school. So things like that. But I, a guy would usually approach a girl, mm -hmm. but he's going to approach her if you're approachable. Mm -hmm. Especially in New York, it's easy. Oh, really? <laughs> easy? Easy in New York? <laughs> a guy's got to approach her anyway if you buy yourself <laughs> enough. And then okay. if they know that you're already famous, that's that's <laughs> too simple. But um, yeah, if you're by yourself, they don't know you're famous, then yeah. Then, okay. You, know. you guys together go outside, pick up a girls? And together. that was the way. <laughs> when, when, together? Oh. Together. Oh, uh, as swings? Uh-huh. When we were younger? Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> no, yeah. what we did is we threw parties. Oh, we threw parties and they well, we, came to We went to the same us. university first. Yeah, we went to the same university uh, uh -huh. after high school. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, like I said, we you, you have to do certain things to attract. But we attracted different types of females. Oh, oh I which, see. Um, that may be weird for people to understand, but yeah, we usually <laughs> not attracted to the same girl. Uh, yeah, we, don't, we, don't, we weren't like going out to bars. We didn't even yeah. drink until like uh -huh. later. We just knew that... Um, I'm the social guy. Uh -huh. He was the more reserved. Yeah. Uh, I'd be Derek is the social one. Desmond mm -hmm. is the reserved one. Yeah. So uh, when I was in, when we were at the same university at that time, uh -huh. uh, I would go to my classes and then I would hang out at different people's places. 45 minutes, go to another place, 45 minutes. Yeah. So then it was like, well, won't I <laughs> be useful yeah. and throw an event and people uh -huh. come to us. Uh -huh. So, that became the way is, is that if you build something, people will come. 
Oh. Everybody and, knows the twins, but every, <laughs> nobody knows the twins, but everybody knows the twins. Yeah. Correct? <laughs> yeah, the <popularity>. correct. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Tell me, uh, if I walk in the city and one guy, they come up to me, um, mm. what's most sexy word? What should I say? <laughs> Show interest. Yeah. Smile. See, oh, Smile. Yeah, you're interesting. <laughs> you're interesting. Oh, no, no. <laughs> tell him, tell him, oh, you're interesting. And then he like, what? You yeah, never hear like, that. Oh, yeah. I see. You're interesting. Okay. <laughs> and a smile. A smile mm. is important because we, as men, we have to pick up on uh -huh. the, the things that may not be verbal. Uh -huh. But at the same time, uh, as, as my brother just said, uh -huh. if the lady shows interest yeah that's the great thing oh okay smile is important and yes. oh my god you are interesting well if he's interesting so you know he's got <laughs> yeah don't don't they, waste your time yeah, yeah everybody <laughs> smile smile, smile. <laughs> you'll start you'll have a problem at that point if, you, if you're too interesting yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too much smile <laughs> yeah. wow yeah. okay do you have question for me I do. Yeah. I had a okay. question and it was about, uh, I had mentioned that when we did the, uh, we did the film project, we started like in three parts. Part one was us in Nagoya. Part mm -hmm. two was uh, the characters going to Wakayama. Yeah. And then part three was now I'm a foreigner going back home. Mm -hmm. So uh, what has changed in your, in your, in your search for your podcast, what has changed uh -huh. from what you originally plan to do uh -huh. and what's happening now oh yeah um the podcast is my so important program yeah because before i don't speak english and the fashion fashion work is every everybody don't know me but I started the podcast. The podcast shows my personality. Yeah. And mm -hmm. later, everybody talked to me. Oh, I hear your podcast. You are so funny. Or, yeah, your, your talk is so daddy. And I love your personality. Yeah. So easy. Easy. Everybody knows me. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so change. Yeah. <clears throat> So you did exactly what we said. Yeah. <laughs> Made people smile and basically yeah. approachable. Yeah. But I more learn English. I'm talkative. Yeah. For Japanese. But yeah, mm. English is so... Mm, <laughs> I can talk easily. Yeah. But one year later, I'm more English talking. Yeah. Please mm. come back, you guys. We're here. Oh, be nice. Yeah. I'll speak some Japanese. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Arigato, no, thank you. I this morning. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Nice to bye. meet you. Bye. We'll be right back. Hey guys, it's Sheena, the producer for Naomi Takes America. We're looking for more guests to be on the show. Naomi wants to know everything about being American, and the juicier the better. You can find the submission form in the show notes. Now back to the show. Wow. <laughs> They are so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Twin is... Maybe Derek is so... Younger brother, mm -hmm. and this one is older brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the token is yeah so funny. Yeah, yeah, they like same person, but but that's not common in twins. Twins, yeah, interesting. Yeah. I think every twin is love same girl. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> and smile is important. <laughs> yeah, that's good advice. Yeah, everybody say for me. Mm -hmm. You every day you are smiling, yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> because it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Men loves smile. It's true, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But 
you make me smile. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have twins, friend? A couple friends that are twins. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Not, I only have one friend that's identical twins, though. Mm-hmm. The, the rest are all fraternal twins. Yeah. American culture is same. Um, Japan twins culture is similar name. Mm. Yeah. American too? I think it depends. But yeah, I, I think there are some twins that do that. Oh, really? Maybe Derek and Desmond yeah. is same. Similar. Similar, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> So cute. Yeah. Yeah. But I had friends who were Abby and Zoe, uh-huh. and so it was A and Z. So it's like the beginning of the alphabet and the end <laughs> of the alphabet. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> eh, kawaii. So cute name. Japan no 50 won da to a kara hajimatte mm de owaru kara muri da ne. And comedian. Oh, comedians. Comedian. Yeah. Comedians. Yeah. yeah. Patrice O'Neill. Patrice who they recommend. O'Neill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So many comedians. Mm-hmm. In America. In America. Yeah. Yeah. Derek said, mm-hmm. uh, you're funny, <laughs> the podcast. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy because, yeah, yeah making other people laugh mm-hmm. is so hard. Mm-hmm. But I love that. Yeah. Yeah. But another Language yeah. is so hard, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> But, yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Good night, America. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. If you have stories about American life and want to be on the show, go to naomitakesamerica.com. Or see the link in our show note. Follow me on Instagram at WatanabeNaomi703 for update. And don't forget to rate and review the show. Talk to you next week. <laughs> <laughs>